How's it going, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium 2 walkthrough series. In the last episode, we were tackling on Morty of the Ecritique Gym, got our fourth badge, and basically cleared halfway through round two of Johto Gym Leader Castle. Now we're going to be facing on Chuck, the fighting type master, and this time around, going to be a greater challenge than when we first experienced him, both against Nick and Chuck provided us one of our more scarier moments in the beginning part of our series. Don't know what we're going to be expecting today. Let's just go ahead and pick out our team and see what we got in store for today. So of course, fighting type gym leader, pretty much predominantly going to be bringing psychics and flying like I did last time. But of course, mm, well suited Pokemon for the combat. Um, and of course, I can't ignore my two staples. Let me go ahead and bring them on. Firo, gotta bring him in. It's too good, too good. And then Kadabra. Um, can't do the alphabet. Do have Starmie and Crobat as coverage. Other than that, who else could I bring? I could bring Slowbro, but I'll save it. I'll bring the champ, and then. Just in case I need to do the strat again, Haunter, for the obvious reason, can't do the alphabet again. Alright, I'm just great at that, aren't I? Okay, I still can't do the alphabet. Okay, there we go. So let me go ahead and put on some items. Um, confusion. I'm gonna give it the berry. Paralysis. Bold berry. Quick claw, and then doesn't really need an item, I guess, for round of freezing, maybe. Alright, so let's go ahead with this team, see how we fare today. Hiya! My fists are harder than stone. Do you want to try me? I'll try this team. <laughs> I was a little confused on who to bring, but I think Cadaver and Star Machine do their jobs pretty well. Gym. The first opponent is Nick of Black Belt. Alright, Dragonair. So I picked off first pretty pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an ice beam. There's the shot. Man, I think perfect. Nick is the one that does the one to kill moves, so I think it'll yeah. He'll go for the horn drill. Horn drill! Oof. No, that didn't connect. Oh man. For those of you who haven't watched the first time I battled Chuck, Nick, um pretty much almost swept my team with horn drill. He almost swept my whole team with him. I believe his Nidorino, no, Nidorino and Seeking, basically almost swept my entire team. Smoochum had to be coming in clutch to save me that day, but or, I think it was, it was one of those, but I had to get one of them to clutch me out that day, because wow, that was close. One of the closest battles I've seen in my entire time of playing this. The fact that he could hit two in a row was just, it broke my mind. And I think he's going to go for Guillotine. That was brutal! It collapsed only one hit! That was brutal. Alright. So, Good thing it wasn't anywhere near like Pokemon. the first game. I mean, the first time we battled Nick, but oh, pulling off one hit move still Pokemon feels very nice. The cadaver should, of course, outspeed it, and that would have been tricky without that half health. There! Thunderpunch! A yep. powerful blow! Oh! Oh! Knockout! Just one Pokemon remains! Oh, it's Arbok. Baba! It's down I think Arbok to last Pokemon now. But Psychic should do its job. The number of remaining Pokemon is 2 to 1. Should knock it out, right? A Psychic Blast! Sounds like it will. Oh, but it goes for a lock slide, okay. Yes, it's a hit! 
to help the amount of damage, but nonetheless, it's a berry to restore its HP. Still our victory. I mean, pulling off a one hit KO movement in general is just well, remarkable on its own. Wham! But we still prevailed pretty good. It's bad it wasn't like the first Pokemon episode. That one was crazy. Down. That one was just and crazy. There goes the battle. Go watch it if you guys haven't. That was a pretty, pretty hilarious battle. Why? All right, one down and Chuck to go. Let's see. Let's see what kind of team he'll bring. You didn't falter at the sight of us. You must have guts. Come on. Not really like the title. Polyrath is a given. I really don't like seeing Ampharos, but who do I bring? I would like to use Fira, but I don't think Fira will be too useful. Maybe only against Polyrath and maybe Ursa. And maybe Hitmonchan, but other than that, I don't know who to bring. I'll bring... Oh, I really hate my odds right now. I do want to bring Starmie though, so I'll go with Haunter, Starmie. Side between Machamp or Cadaver. I'm gonna bring Cadaver. Uh, pretty much almost identically the same team I brought against Morty, except I have Monster instead of Voltorb. Alright, Polyrath. Alright, so the strength I'm gonna do here, because Polyrath knows Belly Drum, so it will definitely go for it, but I'm gonna go for the Giga Drain. The and I should see Polyrath go for the Billy Drum, which it does. Take away half its health. It sacrificed HP which brings it down to power. very poor health, and I will outspeed it, of course. Still of going up, but the Knock other it out. One looks tired. And Billy Drum is a nasty yeah, weak. I believe we'll only see this yeah, used about hit. one more time in the run that we're going to be in. But that would be for way more episodes later. Belly Drum is a nasty move if you can pull it off successfully. Because it raises your power to your physical power to the max. And you can see almost any if you have it successfully off. Alright, Hypno's next. Um, I think I could get knocked out. I'm gonna go for Destiny Bond, because it can learn Psychic, obviously, and Shadow Ball, too, so I think I should be knocked out by Blood. Alright, Psychic, that should knock me out. Yep, it takes it down, down with it. Haunter, oh, give me the poke. Thank you. It's taking its opponent down with it. Okay, and then Pokemon Cadaver. Ampharos, oh, no! Oh, Alright, I gotta take off as much damage. Ampharos was the one poke I didn't want to see just because of it's just a nasty oh, poke to deal with. Since it's a special attack, I'm not even gonna bother with the number of like, remaining Pokemon in two to one. Both for special or crits. Just either one of those. Just need either one of those. How's that? Because I'm really scared. Great hit. A sharp attack. Ah, heaven! Yeah. Did like 75%. It'll still knock me out. Luckily, Ampharos is just not fast, but it is a powerful poke. If I can get a crit, that should be our win. No, nope, alright. That's fine. But I think Ampharos does have a quick claw. If I'm not mistaken. So Starmie should definitely outspeed it, but I think Ampharos has a quick claw. So that's my only concern, because if it can outspeed me, it, it, that could be it. Alright, good, it did it. As long as it doesn't have focus band either. 
slow. Oh. It's to hang in there. No, 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 no. No, no. No! Oh. Everything went in our favor, but the roll wasn't. That's it. I win. I enjoyed that. Oh, no. I'm gonna go for it again, but wow, that was so unlucky. I don't know the rules, but that was so unlucky. Everything basically went in our favor. That should have been a win for us, but... That's what I was talking about. Ampharos is just a nasty poke. Oh man, that really hurt. That really hurt. The challenger has made it to the CN Wood But gym. we're almost about five badges in. And that was our first our loss in round two. Not bad. Just a very unfortunate way to lose. If it was any other poke other than Ampharos, that should have been a win. <sighs> that was just really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. I probably should have gone for the surf and probably had more power. I don't remember, but I should have just done that. That was my fault. Hey, that's what I like to see repeats. Well, I don't want to see us lose again when we face Chuck again. Don't want to see that, obviously. Everything did go, everything did go in our favor, it just, it was just that roll. I don't know the percentages, I don't know if that was a low roll, I really don't know, but I was hoping that she would knock it out. It just didn't, and Pinsir's next it was a guillotine, so it will go for that. Yeah, man, I need to do two more psychics. That's not Guillotine! Whoop! That miss! It's a fierce attack! A furious attack! That inflicted some damage! That's it! Oh my! Missed again! There's a big HP difference between the two combatants! A psychic blast! That's a hit! Alright, the last oh, thing is our buck again. At least that gives us our win. But man, that, that battle against Chuck. Uh, if it was any other poke other than Ampharos, oh, that should have been show. guaranteed. This that was just. The heated action continues. That happens sometimes. If it was a low roll, that's just what happens sometimes. Oh, you lose that way. It's just unfortunate. Uh -oh, Ooh, that great. That wrong choice? probably was needed. Because I think Mitch probably could have used Fissure. And there goes the battle! Alright, so luckily we didn't lose any pokes. Just gonna have to go against Chuck again and go for it. Not a bad team, but I guess Ampharos just wasn't the poke we needed to see. How can be it? Uh, it makes me wonder if I should go with Stormy again. If it's not Ampharos, I don't like having any other poke in that situation, that's why. So I'm just gonna go for the same team. I'm just gonna go for it. The challenger faces Fian Wood Jin Chuck, a user of fighting Pokemon. Let's hope the challenger doesn't I can hope the for a poly rat team again. I don't know what to do in this situation. I don't think it knows a move that can knock me out. So I'm just gonna go for for Shadow Ball. I'm just gonna go for Shadow Ball. I don't know any other. I was gonna switch. Oh, when a drop Pokemon. Okay. I didn't know. I don't know the strats for against Hitmonchan. I don't know who it's gonna bring. Oh, with Ampharos. All right, I guess it's not that bad. Here's the first move. Oh, so it missed. So the mo okay, so it has bright powder. Alright, I'm gonna go for this. I'm 
don't know. Thunder, Thunderbolt sounds like it will knock me out. It will move. And you saw how strong that Emperor is. It's trying to take the opponent with it. If it can get a crit, that would at least guarantee it. I'm gonna go for it again, but I don't think it'll, I don't think it'll do it. But the other one looks tired. It's trying to take the opponent with it. Yeah, light screen. Yeah, it's just trying to stall. It's better protected against special attacks. Yeah, it's smart that it put up the light screen because now my psychics aren't gonna do much, if at all. It's trying to take the opponent with it. Wow, Thunderbolt! Well, good news is I took down Amphros. The bad news is Light Screen is up for another three more turns. So that's just gonna make things a little harder. It's taking its opponent down with it! Man, I need to check the items real quick. Starmie has the one for confusion, so I'm gonna bring out Cadaver first. It's gonna bring out either Polyrath or Machamp, so I have the type advantage. But I want to save Starmie for the reason of having oh, the confusion up, because I do know Dynamic Punch is the move, so I always have that safety net. It's a furious attack! Yeah. There it goes! Great hit! I probably should have put up the lights, the reflectors, but that's what I'm going to do now. The white hot battle continues. It's better protected against physical attacks. So now attack. Mega Punch won't knock me out. Mega Punch, hit that inflicted some damage. And Psychic will only just leave it at about 40 HP. But at least Starmie should it be able to take it out. It should be. Alright, good. Mega Punch is. I was about to say, Mega Punch does have a chance of missing. I don't know why it's not. The heated action continues. Through Mock Punch! Oh, that was. That. That would have knocked me out too. That did 16. That would have knocked me out without the, without the reflect. That's so sad. Oh, and down it goes. And I think this next turn is my only last turn with. There's only one flesh, Pokemon left to come Which is not that bad because I don't think Polyrath oh, goes for Belly in this situation because it would just make no sense Pokemon. to do so, But I don't remember. There's a big but with the reflect up, that's perfectly fine. I have a free, free hit against myself. A sharp attack! And that's it, that's game, that's game, that crit was needed, that's it. No chances for Polyrath. Get out of here. First L of the episode, but get out of here. Cadaver, doing the work again, let's go. You're strong. Would you please make me your princess? No, man, get out of here. I'm trying to move on. Oh, there we go. That, that was the one we needed. That crit made the difference. First battle just wasn't our way, but that was needed. And with that, it gives us the ability to move on to Jasmine. That is our next opponent for our next episode. The Olivine Gym Leader. And <laughs> let's just say we don't know what we're going to be expecting there, as I will continue to say throughout the series already. Because as we saw with Chuck, he gave us our first um, defeat in round two. Um, first time around it was against the Team Rocket Executive, but we got it a little bit earlier so I can't guarantee how much more effective or efficient we'll be. We just gotta hope that each battle we get at least a hint of luck to progress as much as we can. But of course, as I said, our next challenger will be Jasmine and we'll be left for the next episode. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Pretty eventful at the Sanguine Gym. Who knows how we're gonna be seeing it in our next battle against Jasmine. It's only going to be her, but that might just be enough just to see how much of our challenge we can face. But, of course, for the next time. So guys, until next time when I meet you back here at the Olivine Gym, I will see you then. Right. Take care, guys.